All right. Yeah, hey, Coach. Um, okay. uh, what were some of the things uh, offensively in your review that uh, you all, you know, came up with uh, to maybe? Well, I'm not going to get into the schematic stuff that that, that I'll that we'll probably tweak here. Uh, you know, it won't be any major changes. I mean, you're in the middle of the season, and like every team, you're dealing with with injuries and things that come up. Uh, we've clearly got to play better. We've got to play smarter. Uh, you know, really, you go back to Thursday night, didn't handle situational football well, which we had done most of the season. But we didn't start, in, you know, even starting the game backed up. And then, you know, the game, that, in a game like that, the way it was played, we didn't take advantage. The third and one, um, you know, the execution of that to go back and the ripple effect going back, you know, and then having said all that, you still have your chances late in the game in the fourth quarter. You know, AJ makes the play. You're going to have a chance to get down there. And, uh, excuse me, in the um, third quarter. But, you know, we, we didn't, and credit to the Patriots, but we didn't play very well situationally. Uh, we just got to play a lot smarter than we have the last two weeks. Yeah, I went back and did my little study on the last 27 possessions, too. And uh, drive starts was an issue, uh, seven interceptions. A missed field goal, black punt, still fourth downs. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty accurate there, D-Lad. Um, <laughs> You know, and a lot of it, you say, you go back to situational football, right? The first two drives of the Dallas game, you got a chance to, to put points on the board. Uh, you don't. I mean, we kick a field goal, right? The first possession, second possession, and then you go a couple, three and outs, and we don't handle the end of the half, get the punt block, and then, you know, coming out, drops. I mean, you, you name it, D-Lad. I mean, these all sound like excuses. And it's just, you know, lack of execution. There's a lot of things. And then you go back in hindsight, you pull the starters to play for Thursday night. And so you kind of conceded. It felt like preseason four. You know, it went pretty much run, run, maybe pass, and run, 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 whatever whatever we, we did to get out of that game. So then you go back to Thursday night, don't handle it going backed up. Well, we knew it was going to be tough. It's a good defense. They're going to make you earn everything. And then when you had our spot, we had our spots. It was a little, you know we didn't execute very well situationally. You said everything would be on the table. Sure. Um, offensive line, are you willing to go forward with this group, or are you considering? We're going to see how the week. The, we're going to see how the week plays out. We'll see how the week plays out. Everything, everything's on the table. Is Macano possibly one of those options at this point, or is he still far away? Or? I'm, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any update on him. I don't have any update on, on Calvin either. So, when, when you do look at, like you said, some of the stuff that you were going to evaluate, I know D-Led kind of asked a little bit. Was there, were there certain things that in your head going in you said, I expect to kind of see this? Or I expect, or, and conversely, was there anything that from watching you're like, well, yeah, I missed this? Yeah, a pretty good idea, you know, and then. Obviously, when I talked to you guys on Friday, I mean, you watched the tape a couple times too. So to say there was like no, you know, preconceived notions. I mean, I, I mean, right after the game, I mean, you know, you know, it pretty, you have a pretty good idea what happened. A couple other things you may see in the film, but by the time I talked to you guys Friday, I mean, I had very crystal clear understanding of, of things we got to fix. So and we will fix them. I mean, it's an, you know we're at a temporary obstacle. There's a lot of you know, say a lot about your mindset and a lot about people, but. The reality is we have a great opportunity this week. We're not where we want to be. You got to own it. We're four and six. We deserve to be, but we're still in the mix with a big game down in Jacksonville this week. Are there the things that you, know, you say it's temporary? Are a lot of these things fixable this season, or is this more of a global, you know, you got you got to look at this over the next eight, nine months type situation? In terms of what? I guess personnel and, and kind of some of the issues that y'all have been having maybe in certain position groups? Well, I mean, there's certain things you can do, you know, schematically. You're going to have to deal with, and that's part of the adjustments. I mean, we've, we've got to be better situationally, you know, and some of maybe some of the things we're asking guys to do. Certainly, that's fair. That's That could be a short-term fix, right, some of the things. And, and again, eliminate some of these self-inflicted wounds so you're not behind the count because you become obvious. I don't care who you've got back there when you're in way too many obvious dropbacks. More times than not, it's it's not a great day at the office, and there's always exceptions. I, I understand that. Now, long term, I mean, this is a continue. You know, there's we change schemes, 
there's certain things. I mean, we understand with the you know the salary cap restrictions, and there's a long-term plan too. But every team around the league, if you look around our league, whether they had a great long-term plan that they came into 21 and they felt really good about it, they're all dealing. Everybody's dealing with injuries, certain things that come up, and that's part of the the challenge of a, of a 17 game season and 18 week season. So at the end of the day, we're four and six with a game with a very really uh, important game for us this week. And so we've got to do everything we can. We'll see as the week goes on who's healthy, who's up, and we got to put together a good plan and we got to go down there and execute it. How, how much of, like you said, everyone comes in with a plan to start 21. How much of this, how much did you anticipate for, because of the issues that you knew maybe you guys had? Well, some of them, but I mean, some of them, you, you don't, you know, but, that, but you've got to expect the unexpected sometimes in, the, in this job. And you can only control things that you can, you know, I mean, there's some things out of your control. It's all things like anything in life. Like you can't get caught up. Yeah. Temporarily something may, you know, like, of course you don't wish some of the things happen that do, but then you got to get over it and you got to move on. You got a problem solve. So uh, you got to stick with it. I mean, control the things you can control and what we can control is, you know, this week going forward to put the plan in, to see if there's anything else, whatever we got to do to win this game. Go down there and practice and execute on Sunday. I think it's really what I'm getting at is, was the, is this now that you're a little more halfway in? Has this been a bigger reconstruction project than maybe what you and Terry initially thought? Back, you're not going to put, you're not gonna put those words in the mouth. No, 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 I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Asking. Look, like we understood exactly what what the job entailed. There's things that come up along the way, and you have to adapt. And like I said, as bad as the last two games have felt. The reality, what the reality is, we're four and six, and if we can play better and find a way to go win Sunday, you're not out of it this year, and we'll see where it goes. Maybe you get some guys back, you're healthier, who knows? But you want to be able to write with our current situation, where we are today, is to go whatever we have to do to find a way to go win this game down in Jacksonville, and we'll see what goes on from there. Um, but yeah, that, that we are, we understood exactly what the long term issues were. So we'll see. I mean, the story hasn't been – it's not already written for this season. It's not over. you got seven games to go and an important one this week. What, uh, what did you see from, from, the, uh, from the defensive side of the ball on Thursday? And, and Eric Harrison said that he thought that, that the defense took a step. Uh, is there anything that you can see from that performance sure. that you can build on? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's a 13-point game for, you know, all the way to the middle part of the – Right, the, the fourth quarter, and that's a, that's a hell of an e effort from the defense. Uh, you know, for an offense that was scoring a lot of points coming in, obviously we didn't like what happened down in Dallas, and they stepped up. and I thought the defense played really well. I mean, the other reality, I mean, these guys, our guys are going to play hard. They do. They competed. They fly. They they were flying around the football. Um, it's a shame we didn't put together a complete game because yeah, the defense I thought played really well. But and that's kind of been. It's part of another reason why we're four and six. We haven't put together a, a complete game. We played at times good enough to win, I guess, four games, but not enough to be where the other side of 500. Yeah, and, uh, just to follow up on that, talking about playing a complete game, and I've been thinking about the, the idea of playing consistency, playing consistently through all three phases of the game. And mm -hmm. I feel like there have been moments, but maybe not full games. What, what moments can you point to that you look at and you're like, that's when we played? Yeah, at the end of the Giants game. Um, you know, time in the, in the Jets game, you know. Um, been plenty, plenty of times, you know, for moments in that Saints game. I mean, you're really going back to some of those wins. I mean, even Washington, you know, for, for at least a half. Um, and, that, and, that's, and that's the probably the frustrating part, right? We're four and two one possession games and obviously the you know four of our losses have not been close you know where we have a chance late to go win it uh, I guess you could argue this one New England here in two possession game for most of the fourth quarter and then they they kicked the field goal which still you know made it two but it's you know two touchdowns to uh, two point conversions so it depends on where you look at it but we have improved there in the one possession games. We've got to play way more consistent. But the good news is we have another opportunity this week. You, uh, you, you, you made some uh, personnel changes uh, along the defensive line with some healthy scratches. 
uh, how did you think? That well, it, you're also playing on a short week. I mean, those right. are assuming, put it this way, there's, there's, there's always strategy. We feel pr there's pretty good depth right now in the D-line room. Okay. The kind of game it was going to be on Thursday night, uh, where we felt overall matchup-wise, some of the guys that had played Sunday, and then you know maybe throwing some fresh bodies on there on Thursday. That was a thought. So it wasn't like, hey, somebody got benched. We're down on this guy. It was more about the strategic matchups, and I'd argue that it was, for the most part, on the defense, it worked. But that was, and that, that's the flexibility you have now with the 16-person uh, practice squad and then some of the elevations. That I like it. It allows you, especially if we're playing 17 games, I think teams are getting a lot of use out of it. it, it any other than the follow-up? That, that was all it was. Yeah. Yeah, Coach, you, you played against them twice a week in the South. In yes. The South. Um, defensively, uh, Miles Jack has been a guy that's been playing well for them for a yeah. while now. Yeah, he's, been, he's yeah. been a good player for them since he's been there, since they drafted him out of uh, UCLA. Uh, he well, flies around. left that defense longer, Miles Jack? Well, they've been, like, like everybody, uh, you know, they've been dealing with, with everybody during the season. It's a long season. Uh, they changed their schemes. Uh, Joe Cullen, I think, is doing a really good job. You can see that things, are, as they start to evolve, some of the elements of places where he's been, you know, whether you go down to some of the four-down stuff or really, you know, you can see some of the Baltimore influence as well. Um, I know this. They're going to be flying around. It, they're competitive, as you, you, you know, just a couple weeks ago. That's why I said you, you, it's, it's funny if you look at it, the week-to-week -week narratives in the NFL. I mean, they, they go down and Buffalo guys down there. I mean, it's what it is. I mean, look at the league yesterday. That's why it's professional football and everybody's dealing with something but we expect it they'll be ready to roll he'll have them ready to roll uh but miles is a is a terrific football player and has been and he's been a pain you know when i was in tennessee and he'll be a pain on sunday for us and i say that in the highest compliment okay. do you talk i mean michael lockham has said his car is still in the league like, do you talk to your guys when something like that happens and kind of drive home certain messages or anything like that we is talk about a little way of how it happened we talk about a lot of things, Michael. And so a lot of private conversations, there's things that come up, there's life outside this building, that's real. Everybody uh, in this organization, you know, they deal with, with things, we're here to support everybody. Uh, but the, it, we talk about a lot of things and we, everything we can do to help anybody that works here uh, with the Falcons or certainly the players or the staff, we'll help in any way we can. I want to go back to the, the offensive line, and this just might be another you know chapter in the consistency. You had a three-week stretch there where you only gave up two sacks total across sure. three weeks. Um, what's been the biggest difference from you know that stretch when things were going so well to, to the last few? Well, I think a lot of it we became obvious. You know, in certain situations, you get down a certain number of possessions, or you know where strategically where you may have to go to go win that game, and there's several factors to it. But we can stay balanced and stay on track, it, it certainly makes the job of the offensive line easier. And that, that's the thing. If you go back and you look at the history of the run and shoot offenses that put up prolific numbers, um, I don't have a stat off the top of my head, but I know this is always ironic. At, you know, in talking to Mike Munchak and Bruce Matthews, you go back to those run and shoot years, they gave up, you talk about Hall of Fame linemen they had inside, and they gave up high volume sack numbers. Just the number of drop back attempts. So that's one factor. Uh, you know, some of it maybe match up too, but we're trying to get – we've got to play smarter and we've got to stay on track and we've got to, we've got to do better – do a better job in the run game to become more efficient to allow you to stay on track. So there's several factors. It's never just one thing, but it, it certainly when you're playing against a really good pass rusher, a pass rushing team, or maybe you have a premier pass rusher over there, if you're, if you're giving them too many shots on goal where they know right now playing the odds and knowing the situation of the game or if you're down too many possessions that – that, that's another part that leads to, to more sacks. Anything else? Anything else? Do you let? Yeah, I'm good to go. Ah, I expected more from you today. <laughs> I know, I got, I got, we got my arm to see you Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank y'all.